Hey y'all, welcome back and I'm going to show you how I use my goal planner and I put all my goals into my everyday planner, which is an inkwell press planner. Uh, this is the disc bound. I have the monthly and weekly Kickstarter pages, but first I want to show you my prep work inside the 2021 power sheets. This year was the first year I zoomed through this and got them done in about three and a half hours, which is um, very uncommon. I've never done that before, but I've been doing these since 2013, 2014. And each year it does get easier. Now I did just kind of move things over. This page is always the first page that you do. And I like to do it last because I like to have everything looking really pretty. Um, and so after I figure out my goals, I write them here so I can always refer back to them. Uh, these pages were super fun. I loved the condensed version. I didn't go into depth in them just because I didn't really need to, um, which was kind of interesting and neat, but uh, I really enjoyed the condensed version of the prep work this year. Now, um, I did cut out my goal tab from last year's. I just cut little slits in between each little... Um, um, hole where the uh, rings would go and then I put it into um, this binder because I know myself and I like to refer back to my goals each month and I need a tab for that so here's all my goals I color coordinated them this year I love using black ink and now using um, stickers to go with each color so that's pretty exciting. These are my eight goals. I haven't done my vision board. I'm gonna make a video on how I make it in Canva and then I'll print it and show it and put it in there for you. So these are my eight goals. I am super excited about them. Uh, I This year was the first year that I kind of saw people choosing those uh, life evaluation categories and choose those eight and work on those. I've never done that before because I do business and personal. So uh, the first one is video. I'm, wanting to grow this video channel, consistent content, focused marketing, my membership site, uh, search engine optimization, finances. I have PCOS and endometriosis, and I'd like to get that semi under control this year and then working on a better routine for myself for the whole year. Um, all right, y'all, my word of the year is focus. <laughs> it feels kind of cheesy to use that word, but I had some other words that were similar, but how I find my word is what I write the most in my prep work. And I wrote that word about 10 times in various formats. And so that was kind of what I wanted to go with. I chose the same Bible verse that I have for the last few years since I used the word mundane. It's Galatians 6, 9, and I, it's a really great driver for my year. So now, um, I did break these down. So this is the first time that I've used, really used this action plan last year. I sort of did it, but not really. So I've got some pretty major goals for this year. As you can see, those are huge, especially when you look at my subscriber count. But anyways, I'm hoping my friends at Jump Rope can help me do this because you make one video and then it goes to various platforms, which is so handy. Thank you, Jump Rope, for all you do for that consistent content that is huge i've already i knew i this was going to be a big one and so i i already knew kind of like my mini goals that i wanted to achieve for the first quarter so those are written in you'll see on some other action plans i'm not sure what i want to work on first and i might not even work on all eight goals for this first quarter i might just focus on a couple which is what i'm feeling like right now so then i'll move all of those q1 goals into january's tending list. Um, that page is so pretty y'all. And I haven't done it yet, but I'll move it over. And, uh, so then that's kind of a helpful driver for your tending list for the next three months is that action plan for that. So focused marketing, I am in prime to launch and copywriting for creatives from Ashlyn Carter. And I'm excited for this year to focus in on my marketing and do what I've been taught. <laughs> my membership site. I'm not sure what I want to see there, but, um, I'll fill it in later search engine optimization. That's a huge thing. And yeah, I'm excited to work on it. Uh, I did create four little milestones, um, that can go with four each four quarters, but probably not. I don't know how that's going to work yet. Uh, so yep. Finances, PCOS, endometriosis, and my everyday routine. This yearly overview, uh, 
I'm not sure how I'm going to use it. I usually use it to like plan my champagne campaigns. And this year I haven't really thought through what those are. <laughs> I know it's the end of the year, but here we are. So I'll probably put those in um, throughout the, probably the month of January. I'll get it all planned out and use that. So I don't have any wild card pages to print yet. I haven't, I don't really use those. Sometimes I do. It depends on the month. So let's talk about this little calendar. Um, this is where I put my content plans for my blog. Uh, a lot of people use it for various things, and then I'll transfer it from there into my everyday calendar. But for right now, let's go back to my goals and look into uh, transferring those into my planner. So I'm not really sure how I'm going to use this page yet because it's so different from power sheets. Even though they go together seamlessly, I'm not quite sure how I'm going to use it. I am going to fill in my hive for the year, I mean for the month of January, and kind of use what I put in my um, action plan, go ahead and put it into January So I had already transferred over my content calendar into my actual planner, and I want to definitely talk about like my top goals for this month, and that is just consistent content, lean into a routine, and kind of figure out what my everyday wants to look like. I definitely want to post twice a week to my blog. I want to do Instagram stories more. I can't stand doing them, <laughs> and I think they're so invasive, y'all. So that's going to be one of my top goals, just to go ahead and get into it and do it. For my weekly, um, y'all, this is, it's rocking my world a little bit to use this different spread. I'm not going to lie. It's, I already don't really love it. Um, I, I was super excited about it, but I like that still we have the plan, focus, and daily habit trackers. Um, this task list, I'm going to go ahead and use it like I would as a task list and write down, you know, like I need to write such and such blog post and I need to um, schedule my social media out. I like to write a couple of weeks ahead of time so that things are scheduled and I'm not really thinking about it. So then I can create social content off of that and that does mean working ahead a lot. So you'll see the P and then the post name, and that means published. Um, so that's, that's the biggest hang up is I'm finding those little boxes for the weekly kickstart are a little small. I'm used to the long columns that are the size of the full <laughs> weekly kickstart. Um, so I have really loved being able to just peel the pages out y'all that is like so exciting i i miss the coils but i don't miss having them in my way when i'm writing and flipping back and forth it's so nice to just like peel it out flip it back to the month and be able to write now i do color coordinate so pink is my blog you'll see teal is my second blog and uh Green is Instagram stories. I've decided that I'm going to just plan out what I want to talk about on Instagram stories because I feel like if I plan it, <laughs> it'll happen as opposed to just willy nilly off the cuff, which I know a lot of people want. I can't tell you how many messages most days I get from people saying like, what are you doing? Um, what's going on? Or, you know, you posted this recipe. Could you show us how to make it? And I'm just, I'm not very good at that, y'all. I don't like people. Um, I'm a pretty private person. And uh, so it's kind of difficult for me to open up and share what I'm doing every day. And honestly, I think it's so boring. So um, <laughs> I'm not sure why people want to see it, but everyone loves the mundane lifestyle. So I'm writing in the weekly prompts that I'm going to give myself to talk about on stories. And I hope that will help um, inspire me and motivate me to keep going throughout the week. So while I'm recording this, my thought is that I'm only going to plan two weeks in advance. If you have read The Joy of Missing Out, uh, she tells you to plan your week once a week and then your day every single morning. 
And I like that idea, but for blogging, you definitely need to work ahead. And so I'm going to plan two weeks in advance and see how that goes. I'm definitely realizing that I'm going to need a little more room to plan content in here. And that might be where I use the notes and rambling section um, before we flipped over to these pages. I do love how they pop in and out, y'all. But I, I'm missing those long columns from the years before. So we'll see how it goes. But I'm excited to try it and give it a shot. Um, so yeah. Now let's go work on our tending list for January. I usually do this with my PowerSheets tribe. We meet every month and we've been meeting every month for the last four or five years. It's pretty crazy. Um, so I had started it and um, I'm going to go ahead and finish it on here. I'm going to turn on some music for y'all. I'm using my favorite new Sharpie and speed this up. So here is where I've started writing down my monthly ideas and then action steps that will work for the week and for daily. And um, like you saw in the previous little sped up version, um, I like to work on my dailies first and then go work, kind of work my way backwards. Um, so for this year, or at least for this month, my daily routine, I want to wake up at 5 a.m. I want to do morning pages every single morning. I really got out of the routine of doing those. And as I was reading back through them from this year, I have loved reading them and they were so encouraging. And so my goal for myself is to put them on IG stories every day so that people can hold me accountable. Uh, this little section is new. Usually there's just a blank um, section that you can kind of write everything out in. And I have I've previously done it where it's like an overarching you know, topic like content planning. And then with an arrow, I move it over to more actionable steps. And this year they put that in here and, uh, it, it was, I really like it. I'm excited to use it. Um, but I'm going to be referring back to my action plans probably each month, um, when I'm making my tending list to kind of see what I had originally thought and, then how I can work those into the current month and the current state of my life and the season of what I'm doing. And I definitely recommend not doing everything each month. You don't need to do, unless it's a small task that you can do each day. I think um, working through eight goals every single month is super overwhelming. Uh, so maybe just take a little bit of time and figure out that. So um, for my month this, for January, I am crafting a new course called Plan Your Best Life, and it's all about planning and productivity and motivating yourself to plan your best life and live it. So um, I'm excited to share that. That's definitely a big sneak peek. Um, if you're interested in that, leave a comment, and I will be sure to add you to my list so that you're the first to know about it. Okay, for encouraging words, uh, last year I found 12 affirmations that I would write every single day. Well, I would choose one each month and that would be the driver. I haven't found ones yet this year that's going to be my focus for January. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to focus. I don't need really need many encouraging words, but uh, yeah, that's where we are.
So this is definitely a big peek into my Power Sheets planning system, how I utilize it each month. I can't wait to share each month's tending list with you. Thank you so much for joining me. If you liked this video, hit the thumbs up, leave a comment. If you're not subscribed, go ahead and subscribe. Hit the bell so you know when I have a new video. And I will see you next week with how I use my Inkwell Press Planner inside. Of course, everything is linked down below, um, and there's lots of different blog posts you can go read and catch up if you are missing any information. Thanks so much, y'all. Have a great day.